Today I want to go over how to wire up your 20 inch Warrior Wolfpack Grinder. Uh, it's part of our Warrior um, line of equipment. Uh, first and foremost, this is going to come with it. Um, we're going to have to uh, disassemble this a little bit um, and then I'll show you how to wire that. Um, this is some of, some of the typical plugs that you're going to be using for plugging into the wall. Uh, this one will actually attach to the grinder, this one will be to the wall. Now if you're operating with a generator, um, you're either going to have a four prong plug or a three prong plug. If you look closely, you can see that you have an L shape right here. That's going to be your ground and that's going to be for your four prong or three prong. Um, so first and foremost, things you're going to need uh, wire wise is 10 gauge three wire. Um, that way it's uh, strong enough to hold that 220 current. Um, then you're going to need either a Phillips or a flathead. I usually have both just in case because some, some wiring um, and plugs have both. So we're going to take this apart. First you're going to take off the, uh, the gray cap here. There's going to be a rubber slide in and plastic holding piece. And then we're going to take apart the bottom. There's going to be two screws here. that you're gonna take out on each side. Disassemble. Now once you get to this point, you'll see that there is a spot that protrudes. That's gonna be your ground wire. And then you're gonna have two spots here left and right for your, your two hot wires. Um, there should be screws here on the top to loosen up both here and here, and here and here. So we're gonna loosen those up. Once those are loose, you're gonna take your wire, like I said, 10 gauge, three wire. You're gonna put those together. You're gonna to slide your gray cap on first then your plug wire here to hold it steady once you tighten it down. Slide that on. And then your blue casing, your bottom blue casing. I usually like to tighten this up just a little bit so it's not sliding around on me. Um, we're all on different pieces going down the wire. Now, with most, most cases, uh, your wires are gonna be a white and a black and then a green wire. Green wire is your ground, obviously. Uh, the green wire is gonna go into the part that protrudes here on this end. So you'll twist the wire, push that in, and tighten that up. Then you have your red or white and black wire. You're gonna put that into either side. Doesn't matter at this point, it's not gonna mess with your polarity. It's not gonna reverse your grinder. You just need a hot leg on each side. Make sure that the wire um, has plenty stripped back here um, to connect with both your screws. Um, I usually get about a quarter inch, maybe a little bit more. Um, you don't want too much, but you want enough to where it will actually connect with your screws. So, once you have all those tightened up, you're gonna slide this back up. Um, there, there should be um, a slider here, sorry, here and here, that'll fit in the grooves, so you can easily get them back started. Then you flip it over here, and you're just gonna screw these back in and tighten them up. Tighten that uh, collar back up, and this end is good to go to hook it to your grinder. Now, once that's finished, I want to go over the connecting into your generator or to the wall. Now, when I do this, this is going to be for your 20 inch, your 25 inch, um, your 27, or your 30 inch. Uh, this is going to be for any of those. Again, 10 gauge, three wire. We're going to go ahead and do the generator, the generator wire first. I've already loosened these two screws at the top. You loosen these up, 
and then you loosen these collar uh, screws up too. You can pull this out. Now, if you look, <clears throat> like I said, this is a four prong uh, generator plug. You see the L shape here, and it'll say G right here on top. That's gonna be your ground. Green wire always goes to ground. So I'm gonna slide the collar back over. Now with this, like I said, we're gonna hook the green to the ground. It's gonna be your ground wire. So that's gonna slide in right here. I've already pre-loosened all these screws that I need um, just to save a little bit of time. We're gonna tighten that down. Now, this is very important with the four prong wire. Since it is only three wires, um, and we will not need one of these plugs, which is gonna be the one directly below the L shape. We will not need to hook up to this one. So we're gonna hook up the ground to the L shape, and then we're gonna hook up a red, a red or a white to the one directly beside it, and the black to the other side. Again, doesn't matter which side goes where, it's not gonna reverse your polarity, um, it's not gonna mess with your grinder at all. So we're gonna slide those in and tighten those screws down. Just to recap, ground goes to L-shape, the other two wires go to the east and west side, and the south side of the plug stays without a wire. Always twist your wire to get it as small as you can so you can fit into these little holes. Once you do that, make sure they're snug, slide your collar back on. Again, there'll be a groove on one of the sides here. Um, this has a protrusion on the collar. There'll be an insert, and that'll slide together. Tighten these screws up on both sides, and then tighten your collar screws here, and then you're ready for your generator. And this, like I said, again, 20 inch, 25 inch, 27 inch, and 30 inch. All right, so uh, we have the generator plug for all of the larger grinders, the 220 grinders. Um, this is gonna be for your wall plug if, if you have to run it to a dryer outlet or a stove. Uh, those are all 220s in, in the house. Um, typically, I like to just have a generator ready um, just in case you don't have access. Um, now, if you have one of these, they, they come in several different styles. Uh, today, I'm just going to go over this one here. A lot of the times, they'll come in a three prong, and the ground wire uh, or the ground plug will be a U shape or a horseshoe. Um, that's going to be your ground. It could be at the top or at the bottom, just depends. With this plug, your ground is actually going to go to the top, and then your two hots are going to go to the side. So, we're going to take this apart. This should be four, three or four screws on the back, flathead or Phillips depending on the setup. I have most of these loose already uh, to save time. Um, so first and foremost, you're gonna cut your ends, twist them so they're nice and smooth and easy to get in. And then you're gonna slide this through your collar. Once you have it through the collar, uh, you're gonna have a red or white wire and a black wire. Um, with these ones, it's a little bit different, but those are the colors you're going to have and a green wire. So with a green wire, we're going to slide it up through here, connect it on the back with a flathead. Make sure it's nice and snug. Um, and then doesn't, like I said, doesn't matter uh, where you put the white or the black. Uh, it's not going to reverse polarity or anything like that for your grinders. Um, so we're going to put this one into the right, snug that up. And then the white wire or red wire, we're gonna slide into the other. Now, if you do happen to get four wires, um, you can essentially cut one of those off, tape it off, um, or wire, uh, put a wire nut on it. Um, you really only need three. So we're going to put that back in there. Um, these will slide out 
make it easier uh, for you to hook up your wires and you just pop those right back in and then you put it back together and you're ready to hook up to the wall. And that is how you hook up the wire ends um, for the wall plug for your 20 inch, 25 inch, 27 or 30 inch.